Hey everyone, uh, hopefully you all can hear me. I'm pretty sure yep. you all can. Yep. Can okay, get rid of this? Excellent. Hi everyone, hopefully you're all 18 and over because if you're not, this is going to get me in trouble. So your ass better be 18 if you're in here. Anything 18 or over. Uh, and sorry I'm not wearing a shirt, it's hot in here. We have 148 people in here. That's a lot of people who want to learn about sex. And some reason I have a feeling not everyone's 18, but there's nothing I can do about it. I gave the warning and if you're in here and you're not at least 18, it's not really my fault. You know what I mean? All right, so I guess we all know what today's lesson is going to be about. Today's lesson is going to be about naughty slang, but not only sexual slang. It'll be mostly sexual stuff, but also just other bad words as well. Okay, so let's get started. Let's start with some of the bad words we know in English, some of the bad words. Let's get to the basic one. All right. <clears throat> Let's start out with the word fuck. The word fuck. This word has so many meanings, and I want to know how many we could find for fuck. How many can we find for fuck? How many? Well, one meaning for the word fuck is basically another way to say sex. That's one way for fuck. So if someone says I want to fuck you, they're saying, I want to have sex with you, okay? So one meaning for fuck is to have sex with. So for example, if you're married and you had sex with your wife or husband last night, you could say, yeah, last night, I fucked the hell out of my wife. Or yeah, last night, my husband fucked the shit out of me. Snap, snap, all right? So basically, when you fucking is another way to have sex. So you can say, I want to fuck you. If it's someone you know you're dating, someone you're close to, uh, yeah, it could also be get laid. Yeah, that's another slang way of saying it. But that's a nice way of saying it. Not a nice way, but not a naughty way. Fucking is a naughty way. Banging is naughty. Um, pounding is naughty. A lot of naughty ways to say it. But right now we're just focusing on the word, focusing on the word fuck. And fuck is another way to say have sex and usually rough sex. Okay, it's usually rougher than usual when you when you're using the word fuck, especially when you're saying something like fuck me. It's like not just have sex, it's do it hard, faster, stronger, use all of your energy in this sex. Okay, so that's one for fuck. <clears throat> Let's try another one. What if I were to say this quote, this phrase? I want to know how many of you understand this. Ah, bling chicky. What if I were to say this? Fuck off. What kind of fuck is this? What do I want you to do if I tell you fuck off? Get the hell, yeah? When someone tells you to fuck off, they want you to leave or leave you alone. So for example, if someone's bothering me and they're really annoying, I can say, man, fuck off. I don't want to talk to you. That means go away. Don't speak to me. I don't want to talk to you. Fuck off. Like, why are you still doing this? I said, fuck off. That means we're finished. Now, fuck off. That's what fuck off means. Now, remember, all this stuff is very rude. All this stuff is, um, uh, you, sh you shouldn't really use any of these that I'm going to teach you today in any professional setting. So you don't want to use them in school. You don't want to use them when you're working. You don't want to use them around much older people. You know, it's just for your, your friends and stuff like that. And also for you to understand movies and stuff that you watch, okay? So fuck off is a common way to say, get out of here. Yes, go away, get lost. Yes, leave, leave me alone, not let me alone. Let me alone might be British, but in America we say leave me alone, go away. Why is streaming not possible to you know, get away? At yebis, at... All right, you guys are making up other bad words. But yeah, that's fuck off. Let's get to one more with fuck to see if you guys know it. <clears throat> what about VAR to say, don't fuck with me? Don't fuck with me. What does this one mean? Does that mean don't have sex with me? What does it mean when someone says, don't fuck with me? Like, don't do it. Mm, let's see. Yes is more than usual, Kate. Miss you, Kate. Yeah, uh, don't fuck with me. Yes, don't mess with me. Like, don't bother me. Don't get involved with me because I'm a dangerous person and I can hurt you. So, for example, just like the other one, like if, uh, let, no, let's say I, I my friend owes me $10. 
my friend owes me $10. I'm like, okay, today's the day you're supposed to give me the $10. Give me the $10. And he goes, well, I only have $5. So here goes your five. I'll say, no, don't fuck with me. Give me all of my money or I'm going to hurt you. That's how you don't fuck with me. It's like a way of saying, don't play. Don't mess with me. Yes. Don't try to fool me. Yeah, that one's good too. Uh, don't mess with me. Don't bother. Ah, uh, a little bit. Sometimes it'd be useful. Don't bother me. But um, okay. Don't speak with me. Uh, no, not really. Hello. Definitely not hello. But yes, there we go. All right. Now let's get to some <clears throat> another common bad word. Who knows? One definition for this word. Ah, oh, blinchik. For this word. What's one common definition for this word? Oh. Um. Yeah, crap. It can also be kaka or kakashka. That's the first meaning for shit. Kakashka or crap. Another meaning for another definition for shit is just something, just like a thing. So for example, uh yeah, I'm, I'm drinking this shit right here. This shit I'm drinking, uh, it's apple juice. Yablaka, that means apple in Russian. So I'm drinking some shit right now, some apple juice. Uh, and sometimes I'm also drinking this shit, this big thing of water. There's some shit right here I'm drinking, big thing of water. And last one, I just bought this shit yesterday, uh, a few days ago. New MP3 player, little tiny one that I can use when I'm at the gym. I think I bought it like five days ago. I don't remember. But yeah, there's some shit right here, you see? So shit could also be a thing, yes. So it could be poo, it could be crap, gavno, kanyechna, kakashka, yes. But it could also be other things as well. Like any object can be shit, okay? It could just be shit. Now, <clears throat> according to, well, despite what a lot of Russian people think, they think when you refer to something as shit, that means you're saying something bad about it. That is not true at all. That is not true at all. A lot of times when we refer to things as shit, it's just normal. So um, they're like, hey, do you like your earphones? Yeah, these shits are great. I love these shits. You know, it doesn't mean they're bad. You know, if, if we use shit for saying something's bad, it's like, that's a piece of shit. Like, Man, that's a piece of shit. That's when it's bad. But when we say something like, yo, that is the shit. When we say the shit, that means it's the best. So to me, my earphones, they're the shit. They're the shit because they're very loud. They haven't broke. You know, they're really good. They're the shit. But if I didn't like them, I'm like, these headphones are a piece of shit. You see? So they're completely different. The shit is really good. Piece of shit, really bad. Shit is like just in the middle. It's normal, you know? We all think some wrong shit sometimes, but it's all right. Okay, that's shit. Excellent. Uh, let's try another one. Shit happens. Oh, that's such a good one. Let me write it. Shit happens. Yeah, this is a good one to learn. Uh, shit happens is a good one to learn because... <clears throat> A lot of times we go through uh, like maybe bad situations. Maybe uh, our boyfriend or girlfriend breaks up with us. Maybe we failed an exam or maybe we lost our job. A good friend is likely to tell you, come on, man, shit happens. Don't get too sad. And what we mean by shit happens is there'll be another day and these things will happen to you often. So you have to get used to it. Shit happens. You can't just be too sad all the time about everything because, you know, that's life. Life is always going to have downs as well as it has ups. So when shit happens, you're just saying, hey, you know, things happen. Don't be too sad or depressed on it because it's life. You know, so shit happens is another way to say it's life. You know what I mean? Now let's get to one more. <clears throat> just a bullshit. Bullshit means not true. Like if something's bullshit, that means it's not true or bad. So bullshit is like nepravna, like no way. That's not the truth or that's not true. Bullshit means it can't be true, okay? Yeah, nonsense, exactly. All right, now, one more with shit. Same shit, different toilet. Same shit, different toilet. Ooh, spell correct? Wow, this program's pretty cool. Same shit, different toilet. Now, I'm going to explain this one to you, and this one is one of the coolest ways to uh, kind of tell you. Like, in, in American English... We ask, how are you a lot? We ask, how are you? But when we ask, how are you? We don't really want to know everything about how you are. So when we say, how are you? Don't say, well, I woke up this morning and I took a shower. Then I brushed my teeth and I went to work. And on my way to work, I saw a cat and a deer. No, it's just when we say, how are you? It's like, fine, good, could be better, something like that. 
but a great uh, thing to say when you're feeling neutral, you know, not good and not bad, you can just say same shit, different toilet. Now, when we say same shit, that means <clears throat> things are basically the same. Same. When you say same shit, things are basically the same. But when you say different toilet, that could just mean, but a little bit different. Like you're doing the same thing, but maybe at a different place, or you're doing the same thing, maybe with different people, but not much has changed. So that's when you say, oh, same shit, different toilet. And then people will laugh, but it's a really good one, especially if you're a foreigner and you know this one, that would look, it would, it would seem really funny because usually only native speakers know this one because you're not going to learn this in school. Same shit, different toilet. That means I'm doing okay, but things are a little bit different, basically. All right. Same shit, different toilet. All right. Now let's go to something else. Not yet. Nothing new. Yeah, basically, you could say that. All right. Oh, excellent. Racist. Now let's get to some sexual stuff. Okay. First thing we want to learn. We might have learned this one before, but I got to teach it again because a lot of people in my classes didn't know it. What is an open relationship? When two people have an open relationship, what is that? Um, um, different day, but it's the same. Yeah. Mm. Yes, same shit, but different day. You can say that. Yeah. No ties attached. Yes, that's perfect, but I don't think everybody in here will understand that. Who can explain an open relationship a little better? Where does he lie? No. Friends with benefits. Exactly. Who is that? Friends with benefits. That was perfect. Oh, crazy Gabby. She's back. Yeah. Uh, friends with benefits. Basically, two people who are having sex with each other, but they allow each other to have sex with other people as well. That's called an open relationship. If you uh, go onto Facebook and you make an account, or even if you have an account now, you have the option of being single, married, complicated, and one of them is open relationship. That means you have sex with a person, but you're also allowed to have sex with other people, okay? It's not open-minded at all. I mean, you probably have to be open-minded to be in an open relationship. That's not what it means. <clears throat> yeah, you get to do what you want. You get to see other people, yes. See other people. That's a good one. I might teach that, but I'll save that for later because it's not really sexual. People came here for sexual stuff. So let's get to some sexual stuff, okay? Oh, the things I do or, oh, God. All right. I have some pictures here, and I'm going to start off with some pictures. God damn it. I hate what I do. All right. Uh, <clears throat> let's start off with some basic stuff, okay? Do you guys, holy crap, do you guys see this picture? Wait, let me see. Hold on. There you go. Okay. This lady here, she is a pog. Does anyone know what a pog is? Does anyone know what a pog is? Pogs are one of my favorite things in the world, actually. No one knows pog. Someone has to guess it or somebody's going to Google it right now. Let's see who could Google the fastest. What is a pog? Who can Google the fastest? <laughs> Who's the fastest Googler? I can't see. Oh, you guys can't see the photo? Oh, no. Let me see. Am I doing it right? Yeah, it should be showing right now. Oh, no. I cannot see two. Which one? Wow. Okay. Can anyone see the photo? Okay, you can see. Okay, some of you see it. Some of you don't. Um, okay, if you can't see it, click the link that uh, Mike will be sending. Mike will send the link a few times to make sure all of you can go to the right link, okay? So hold on, I'm going to get to it. All right, you guys got it. I see some guys got it, but I'm going to get to it in one second. I just want more people to click on the link. Maybe he could send it one more time so everyone can see the photo, and that will be perfect. <clears throat> okay, now a few people guessed it. And I'm going to have to explain it thoroughly because there's some, this is slang, of course. And in slang is usually a little more complicated. Now, <clears throat> a pog is, is in a, it's short for four different words. You know, it's an abbreviation, basically, an uh, acronym, whatever it's called. It's fat ass white girl. Now, P stands for fat. In slang, fat starts with a P. A is for ass. W is for white, G is for girl, 
fat ass white girl. So for example, the picture you see in front of you. Now, fat, F-A-T, is usually, you no, not chubby. She's not chubby at all. Look at her body. She's thin. She just has a huge ass. A fat ass white girl is a white girl who has a big butt. And they're called pogs because that's just how we identify them in slang so other people don't understand us. But pogs are now becoming very, very popular. They weren't very popular maybe 10 years ago. But now that, you know, Nicki Minaj is singing, my anaconda don't and all this stuff, people are starting to think that big butts are sexy. And now a lot of white girls who used to be um, afraid, not afraid, but they used to be, you know, they used to be, how do I put it? Ashamed of their butts. They used to be very ashamed of having big butts. Now they're starting to come out and say, hey, I love my big butt. Look at it, it's great. Yes, P-H-A-T, fat ass white girl. That is a pog. Here's another example of a pog. This one's my friend. She's a pog. Hold on, I'm gonna try to show you guys. Wait one second. One second. Okay. That's another example of a pog. Now, see, she's skinny, but her butt is big. She's a pog. She's skinny, but her butt is big. She's still a pog. Okay. That's what a pog is. She has to be white in order to be a pog. Kim Kardashian, that is my favorite pog. Iggy Azalea, that's another pog. Okay. So the two examples of Pog. The girl you're looking at right here is from Russia. The lady before, I'm not sure, but this lady right here is from Russia. And I have more pictures of Pogs from Russia or in general. Let me show you one more Pog example before we move on, uh, since you guys like it. Oh, this is one of my favorites. All right, let me find a good picture. Uh, secundu, secundu. I, I put a picture of this lady on my wall some time ago, and people are like, ew, she's fat, and it's so disgusting. And, okay. That's another example of a pog. You see that? That is a real example of a pog. So you guys got it. Pog, fat ass white girl. Perfect. We got it. Let's move on. All right. <clears throat> so let's get on to the next thing. The next thing we're going to get to is basic. It's a slut. What is a slut or a whore or a bitch? You know, the common words for that slut. What does a slut do? What does a slut or a whore do? Let me write it. Slut. What does a slut or a whore do? Slut and whore. Two different words. Slut, whore. But what is a slut or a whore known to do? Yes, they're known to they're known to do great things. That was perfect. They're known to have sex with a lot of different people. That is what a slut or a whore is. They're having sex with a bunch of different people. And I can't get rid of the image. I have no idea why. I can't. Oh, there you go. Okay, yeah. A slut or a whore is a woman who's known to have sex with a lot of men. A lot. Or just people in general. You know, and it's only used for females, though. You know, I don't make this rule, you know, but it's typically only used for females. So if you're a girl and you have sex with a lot of men, you're likely to be called a slut or a whore. That's just how it goes. You know, don't get mad at me. Men who have sex with a lot of girls or whatever, they're not usually called sluts or whores. They're usually called cool or you no know, pimp or player, something like that, all right? So that's a slut or whore. So now let's get to something more, uh, a little more dramatic, a little more adulty. This. Between her legs, you can kind of see something. We have a special name for this in American English, and it's called, who knows it? Camel toe, who was that? Gabby, wow, Gabby, wow, Gabby, wow, Gabby. Wow, Gabby. Wow. That is, I don't, I can't believe Gabby got that. But yeah, um, that is camel toe. I will write it. <clears throat> now, camel, oh, bonjour. Camel toe is, first you got to know what a camel is. I'm guessing everyone knows what a camel is. Sorry, guys, only one L. One L. One second is only one L there. Do you guys know what a camel is? A camel is this animal that they have a lot in like Egypt, you know, like the Middle East, it has like the two humps on his back. I'm pretty sure a camel is like the same in like other languages. I'm pretty sure it's the same. Oh, no, it's not the same. Their blood, their blood is a camel. Their blood is camel in Russian. More wow, muffin. Okay, yeah, thank you. So a camel is an animal and it has hooves on its feet, okay? And those hooves are kind of like this. I can't really do it. The foot of that camel is like this. 
So when a woman is wearing really tight pants, really, really tight, like the pants are like in there, like in there, you know what I mean? Like all up in there. That means, and you can see it, that is called camel toe because it looks like a camel's toe. I can't even do it with my damn hand. Oh, right here. It looks like a camel's toe. You understand? So that's called camel toe. It's a stupid animal. Well, it's a, it's a cool animal. It holds water in its back for a long time. I think that's pretty cool. Okay. So yes, that is a camel toe. All right. So let's get out of this picture. Uh, I, uh, things I do. You know, I, sometimes when I'm teaching things, I just think, you know, if there's a guy, he's, he's coming after me. You know what I mean? He's definitely coming after me. The things I do, Jesus Christ. All right, let's get to the next one. Now, what is this? When a guy says something, or when you're watching porn, I don't know how to get rid of this picture. Now, when you're watching porn or something, and you see the section of BBC, what is that? It's very common in porn that people look for BBC. What is that? Yes, who got it? Who was first? This person was Neron. All right, he got it. So the girl would get it first, but that's okay. It's fine. <laughs> I'm joking. Yes, a big black cock is BBC. And big black cock stands for big black penis. A, yeah, big black penis, big black cock. I will write it for you. I'll write the whole thing. Now, the reason why this is common or popular in porn, big black cock, the reason why, oh my God, the reason why this is popular or common in porn is because there's a stereotype that black men typically have um, bigger penises than, than most men. Now, I'm not saying every black guy has a big penis. I'm not saying every white or Asian guy have a small penis. It's not what I'm saying. I'm saying on average, black men typically are known to have bigger penises on average. So maybe there's a lot of black people with big penises, but then there are black people with small penises. And I'm sure there's white people with big penises too, but the stereotype is mostly about black people. It's been about black people ever since slavery, when white people like owned black people and they would notice that black men had big penises, they would get angry and sometimes cut off the slave's penis because his penis was so big and his wife was like, damn, look at that right there. So they would get mad. So big black cock, it's a, it's a stereotype, but my point is it's popular in porn. In, adult, in the adult film industry, big black cocks are very, very popular. And um, if you see, check out this BBC video, that's not the British news, not British news, this BBC is something completely different, okay? So understand it. 28, I don't know centimeters. I don't know centimeters. We only, who the hell is that? IDAR? How the hell you know IDAR? I ain't even getting there. But anyway, um, uh, centimeters. I don't know centimeters. But they, they actually had a study, and they said the average penis was about five and a half, in, no. I forgot, like five and a half inches? The average penis? It's like five and a half inches. I don't know what that is in uh, centimeters. I have no idea, but five and a half inches is like the um, is like the average. All right. So there you go. All right. <clears throat> so let's move on. We did big black cock. How about this one? <clears throat> what does it mean when a guy may ask a girl, "Hey, do you swallow? Do you swallow? Do you swallow or spit?" Let me put both, swallow and spit. What's the difference between swallow or spit? Eh, eh. Yes, <clears throat> who knows this? 14 centimeters, oh, thank you. That's average penis. Swallow his cum, yes, yes. Well, try not to use the same word in the definition. So when you give the definition or explain something, try not to use the same word. But basically when you swallow, when a girl or someone, I don't know, I saw the gay flag in here somewhere, when you swallow or when a person swallows, that means they are drinking the semen of a man. They're, they drink it. That's swallowing. That's swallowing. How do we go from phrasal verb to swallowing sperm? <laughs> this is the craziest thing. But yes, that's swallowing. So when you're giving you know, oral sex, like with your, a penis in your mouth or your penis in someone else's mouth, when a man finishes, she has two options when it's going in her mouth. She only, there's only two options. 
Do I swallow or spit? You only have two options. Now, if she runs to the bathroom like this, that most likely means she's going to spit. But if she looks you dead in your eye and just go, that means she's swallowing, okay? So yes, that's what happens after a blowjob. We'll get to a blowjob. Best feeling ever. Yeah. All right. So, okay. So that swallow spit, you drink the sperm or you reject the sperm. Like, I don't want that. No, la, la, la. All right. So there you go. And in slang, we call it drinking my kids because sperm are like little kids. So if she swallows, you can say, oh, she swallowed my kids or she drank my children. You know what I mean? So that's another way to say it. Come jack off, jerk off. Yeah, we'll get to all that. We'll get to all of it. Okay. Now let's get to something else, a little different topic. <clears throat> what does it mean? The, hmm. Give me a second to type it, people. What is this? Double penetration. Double penetration. Who's going to know this first? Anal and pussy. Okay, yes. Both sides, yes. Have you ever come in? I'm not answering any questions. Spur yes, exactly. So double penetration is when a woman is having sex with usually two guys, or it could just be two fake penises, either one. But usually double penetration is when a woman is typically having sex with two guys. One guy has it in her vagina and the other guy has it in her butthole, in her ass or anus, okay? And they're doing her at the same time. So she has two penises in her at the same time. Now, sometimes double penetration can even uh can even happen like um in the same hole like sometimes guys may put two penises in one vagina or even two penises in one anus uh, things get crazy sometimes but double penetration is typically when a woman has a, a penis in her ass and her vagina yeah one girl two men two-way sex two-way sex what the hell is i never heard of two-way there's three-way there's four-way but i never heard of two-way that's normal sex that's two people. Three-way is three people. Four-way is four people. So two-way sex is like, that's two people. All right? So yeah, asshole and vagina. Triple penetration, yes. Triple penetration. Quadruple penetration. After that, I don't even know anymore. But <laughs> there's a lot of penetration going on, right? So let's get to something you guys probably don't know. How about, oh man, this is a good one. What is the Superman? You guys are going to learn this and you're never going to forget it. Soldier Boy has a song. He has a song, and one of his songs, he talks about, I want you to Superman that hoe. To Superman that hoe. Now, a lot of people sing his songs, they dance to it, but they don't realize how nasty his songs actually are. Now, I'm going to teach you what it means to Superman a hoe, and you'll never forget this, okay? Nope. So when you Superman a girl, that's when you have sex with her, uh, dick of steel. No, when you Superman, a girl is when you're having sex with her and when you're finishing, you put the sperm on her upper back. The sperm goes on her upper back. Okay. You put it up there. It's, it, some people say it is a position, but that that's not what they mean. In this case, you put the sperm on her upper back, right? Then you take a big paper towel. You know, you know how I usually clean the girl with a paper towel, like a big napkin, and you put it on her back and have her stand up. What's going to happen is the towel, the, the napkin is going to stay. And it's going to look like she has a little cape, like a superhero. That's how you can Superman that hoe. Okay, so you put the sperm on her upper back, then have her stand up. You put a long uh, toilet paper or napkin there, and it's going to hang. And as she walks, she's going to look like a superhero. So that's what it means to Superman that hoe. I know a lot of people didn't know that, but yes, that is weird. Yes, it's weird, but it's just a way to, it's, it's hard to explain. Sperm, semen, the cum. Yeah, it's disgusting, but it's just for, it's just supposed to be for humor purposes. It's supposed to be humorous for a lot of people. It's disgusting. Well, yeah, it's, of course it's disgusting. This is, this is naughty slang. What, you expected to learn nice stuff, how to make flowers grow faster? Because if that's what you expected, you're in the wrong place. We're talking about penises and vaginas, not Vinnie Pooh or, or fucking Dragon Ball Z. We're talking about dicks, okay? So it's going to get nasty. Next one. Okay. <laughs> All right. 
Next, what we're going to get to, and I think I have a picture. Do I have a picture? Next, what we're going to get to is <clears throat> uh, how do I put it? We're going to get to a carpet muncher. What is a carpet muncher? A carpet muncher. What is a car eating shit? No, that is not a carpet muncher. Um, is it? Uh, the Superman thing is very, very rare. Very rare. Carpet muncher. Come on, let's move on from Superman. Carpet muncher. Who knows what a carpet muncher is? <laughs> Everyone's asking. The Superman is rare. It's usually done in black neighborhoods for people who like being silly and having fun. I was going to be tonight. I know what I will be doing tonight. Wow. Yes, lesbians. A carpet muncher is a lesbian. Exactly. Now, what is a carpet? A carpet is basically the rug on your floor. And in Russia, a lot of times they have carpets on their walls. I don't, I don't have it here, but like in old Russia, they had carpets on their walls. Now, the hair on a vagina is typically known as a carpet, basically, because, you know, it's rough and, you know, it's, it's not that soft. You know, the hair down there is a little strong. So munching, that means to eat. Like right now, I'm munching. I'm munching on macaroni. That's me munching. But if I was licking a girl, that means I was munching her carpet. But that's typically used for females who have oral sex with other females, typically lesbians. Lesbians are known as carpet munchers. Yes, eating pussy. No, not sex on the carpet. Just licking the woman one woman to another, they're carpet munchers, okay? And I'm not sure if it is um, if it is disrespectful. I'm not sure if it's a slur to call a woman a carpet muncher, but odds are, if, if, you're, if you're not gay yourself, you really shouldn't use it. You shouldn't use it. Yes, to eat out. I'm gonna teach eat out next. Um, you shouldn't use this one. You shouldn't say, oh, you're a lesbian? Oh, I knew you were a carpet muncher. It's not a good idea. But if you're a lesbian yourself and it's obvious you're a lesbian, you can say whatever you want. It's not a problem, okay? Now, speaking of carpet munching, what's very similar to it is eat out. Eat out. That means to give a woman woman oral sex. That's eat out, okay? So when you eat a girl out, you're licking her vagina with your tongue, all right? So um, I don't have to give many examples. So some guys don't like to eat girls out. This is a separable phrasal verb. Eat out is separable. Some guys don't like to eat girls out. Some guys think it's disgusting. Some guys suck a pussy. Yeah, yes, Jesus Christ. Some guys don't like to eat girls out because they think it's disgusting. Some men think it makes them look like less of a man if they do that. They feel like less of a man. Okay, yeah, and there you go, yeah. That's true, and some men don't want to uh, eat a girl out if she has hair down there. Some guys will say, you have to shave before I do that. Some guys don't want to eat out a girl who has a bushy vagina or a hairy vagina. You know, they don't want to, they don't want to lick that. They don't want to deal with that. They think it's disgusting. They have to shave first. So that's to eat out, okay? The guy don't like it, then a week as a ah. If a guy don't like it, then they're weak as a pussy. Who said that? That was oh Neron. He knows a lot of stuff. I ain't tell her to eat her pussy. I have enough to eat it at home. Ha ha, that was good, all right? So that's eat out. Let's move to something else. How about this one? To run a train on. Yeah, we're going to say on for this one. To run a train on. What does that mean? Rappers say this all the time. To run a train on. To run a train on someone, basically. What does that mean? Yeah, Nicki Minaj talks about it. Ride on the dick? No, no. To run a train deals with more than one person. More than two people. What does it mean to run a train? Gang bang, yes. Yes, but okay. All right, that's close, but it's not exactly the same. Well, yeah. All right, fine. Gang bang. To run a, but gang bangs typically run, to run a train and gang bang, they are interchangeable. They are interchangeable. And they both basically mean when a lot of men are having sex with one girl. When a lot of men are having sex with one girl. But more accurately, when you run a train on a girl, 
the guys are in a line. They're in a line. So it's like one guy standing here, one guy behind that guy, one high guy behind that guy. And they're taking turns, having sex with her a little bit, then they go to the back of the line. It's like, this is the line here. Let's say um, my, my nose is a girl, right? This guy has sex, and this guy, and this guy, and this guy, this guy, and this guy, and this guy, and this guy. It's like, it's a train. Like, uh, when a train comes, it's like one cart, one wagon, another wagon, another wagon, another wagon. So when you run a train on a girl, it's one guy, then the next guy, then the next guy, and they keep going, they keep going. That's running a train. Now, a gangbang is basically running a train, but usually when you gangbang, it's not that orderly. They don't have to get in a line. They can just be like in a circle. They can just be all on her at the same time. So running a train and gangbang, they are interchangeable, but usually when you run a train, they're in a line. They're in a line, like a two, like an actual train. Okay. Uh, let's see. Reference to lesbian for all sex, you know, pussy dick suck, human centipede. Human centipede. Whoa, wait. Whoa. Ew, that shit is disgusting. Hell no. That is that's disgusting shit, human centipede. Uh, titles for porns. Yes. Goddamn, what the fuck does someone want to have social sex? Sasha Gray knows it better. Yes, he does. Okay. So if a girl says, I like when guys run a train on me. That means she doesn't only want to have sex with you. She wants to have sex with you and your homeboys. Okay, so that's how it goes. Next one. Next one we want to get to is, this one isn't so graphic. To knock up. What does it mean to knock up? To knock someone up. What does that mean? When you knock someone up, not out. When you knock someone up. Yes, to get a girl pregnant or to make her pregnant by accident. Simple. I taught this one before, but I wanted to review it. When you get a girl pregnant by accident, okay? Next one. Pearl necklace. What is a pearl necklace? When it comes to porn. Come on. Perfect. God damn, that was fast. Who was that? That was Edgar. Nice, Edgar. Nice, Edgar. Yes. A pearl necklace is, uh, Jesus, I feel so bad. Is See, this is a necklace here. It's not a pearl necklace, damn it. Not a pearl one. But this is a necklace here. So see how it's around my neck? I don't know if you guys can see. See how it's like around my neck? No, this is not going to become porn, people. Relax. This is a necklace. So basically, a pearl necklace is when the guy is finishing. You know, he's coming. And when the stuff comes out of his penis, he puts it around her neck. So it looks like a pearl necklace. No homo, okay? That is a pearl necklace. I don't know what it's called in any other language. That's what it's, it's nothing to do with pussy. Yeah, to come on the neck. That's exactly what it is, okay? Just sperm on the neck. Finish. Yeah, to finish on her, but it has to be on her neck, okay? You can maybe give her pearl eyeglasses. You can give her pearl eyeglasses. You can do it over here. You can maybe give her pearl rings. <laughs> You can, you can give her pearl braces. <laughs> but yes, that's a pearl necklace. When you finish on the girl's neck, that is a pearl necklace, right? Next one. Next one we want to get to is to get hard. What does it mean when someone gets hard? Like, I'm pretty sure there's some hard people in this chat room right now. Matter of fact, I'm 100% sure. No. What does it mean to get hard? Not to fuck hard. To have a boner. Yes, to have a boner. When a guy gets hard, that means his penis went from this to wham. Now he's ready for sex. That's when you are hard, okay? So, for example, when I first saw Kim Kardashian, I got hard, meaning I got horny. Uh, let's see. Um, whenever I used to sleep next to my ex-girlfriend, she had a real big ass, like very, very big. She was a pog. My ex-girlfriend was a pog. Every time I laid down next to her and I touched her ass, I got hard because she was a pog and I love that stuff. Erection. Yes, it is an erection. Yes, to have a boner, get sexed up. No, get hard. Yes, have a boner. Yes, it's also known as a boner because what is a bone? The hard stuff in your body. So when your penis becomes hard, it goes from like this soft, squishy thing to like a bone, and it's ready to do anything it can. It gets very strong when you're horny. 
the penis becomes almost like a bone because it's so strong, okay? So to get hard means to have a boner, which means to be erect, which means the man has a penis ready to go inside a girl. Because if you're not hard, you can't really have sex because your penis is like this and you're trying to put it in, but it's just flopping around. Girls don't like a floppy penis. They don't like the floppies, all right? Don't, don't approach a girl ready to get it on with a floppy penis doing this. That's not cool, you know what I mean? It's not cool. It's not sexy. You got to go in. And when your penis is floppy, you got to use your tongue until your boner is ready. Okay. So there we go. Floppy penis. All right. Like a stick. Yeah. Like a stick. More like a wood, like a big log or tree log. Okay. Next one. We're going to talk about the, I hate myself. Cream pie. What is a cream pie? Not the food. How can I eat when talking about this? How? Cream pie. No, it's poison. Come. It's not just come. What is a cream pie? Come inside of her ass or pussy. Yes, but also her mouth, because there are oral cream pies as well. So basically, when you um, when you make a cream pie, that's when you're having sex, and you put the cum like you put it in her, like you finish inside of her vagina inside of her ass or inside of her mouth. That is a cream pie. When you do it inside the mouth, that's called the oral cream pie. You do it inside the ass, that's an anal cream pie. You do it in the pussy, that's a vaginal cream pie. Okay, so those are three different ways to make cream pies. Semen, yeah, you put your semen, sperm, or cum. They're all the same thing. Semen, sperm, cum, basically the same shit. And it's usually white and it's usually thick and it usually, you know, and what's interesting is, I don't know if you guys are into, uh, if, the, if there's any of you who like getting oral sex from girls and you like when they swallow your sperm, just an interesting tip, something I've learned over the years. What you eat really, what you eat like within the last six hours before you got uh, oral sex from the girl really changes the taste of your sperm. So if you eat a bunch of fruits, a lot of fruits for like six hours before the girl gives you oral sex and then swallows your sperm, it will taste really good to her. What you eat really affects the taste of your semen. It really, really does. I don't know if any of you guys knew that. Yes, see, someone said true, it's very true. I've learned this. So if you really want a girl to like you and she's planning on doing oral sex to you or whatever, eat a lot of fruits, eat a lot of fruits uh, vegetables, no, 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 fuck vegetables. Have a lot of fruits and a lot of fruit juice. And when she swallows, she'll be like, holy shit, this guy is cool. You know, it really helps. And it even helps with the smell of your semen. It helps with a lot of stuff, okay? So there you go, something else to learn. What time are we finishing? You mean finishing the lesson or finishing something else? <laughs> That's what she said. Oh, we gotta learn that. We gotta learn that. That's perfect. That's what she said. We have to learn that. Okay, thank you so much, um, Alexandra. You reminded me of something. That's what she said. It's a very common sexual joke told by Americans. It's very common. And it is so hard to explain to people. Okay, now, there was a comment here made by a girl, Alexandra. She said, what time are we finishing? And I replied, that's what she said. Now, why did I say that's what she said. I said that because what she said has a regular meaning and a sexual meaning. Whenever you hear something that has a regular meaning and a sexual meaning, you can say, that's what she said. So for example, let's say I'm hanging out with my guy friend, Andre. And Andre says, uh, what, what would Andre say? No homo. Andre would say something like, uh, let's say I have a dish to put in the sink. He goes, all right, come on, Phil, put it in. Come on, Phil, put it in. I would say that's what she said. Why? Because it has a regular meaning, put the dish in the sink, put it in the sink, normal, but a sexual meaning, put it in. Like when a girl wants to have sex with you, she may say, hey, put it in. You know, like put it in my vagina. It has two meanings. So when she said, what time are we finishing? That's two different ways. One, she could mean when the lesson is finished, we finish in about... 15 minutes, or she could have been talking about when are we finishing our sex? Like, when are we going to come? 
When are we going to ejaculate? What time are we finishing? So it has two meanings. And when it has a regular meaning and a sexual meaning, you say, that's what she said. It's one of the most common jokes in America. People really love it. Okay? We're not going to talk about the taste of sperm right now. Like, you know, when she said, now what are we? When she said, not now what are we? That's not a that's what she said moment. Any that's what she said moment, it has to be something with a regular meaning and a sexual meaning. One more. Um, okay, perfect example. Sometimes certain foods, people don't know how to eat certain foods. Because we, we haven't all eaten the same food. So, for example, who knows what a lollipop is? You know, lollipop, it's, it's um, you know, a lollipop is a candy that you eat it like this or, you know, you put it in your mouth, do all this stuff. That's a lollipop, right? So let's say someone's never had a lollipop. And that person says, hey, how do I eat this? And I say, oh, just keep licking it a lot. Keep licking it until it finishes. That's what she said. Keep licking it till it finishes. That's what you do to a lollipop, but you keep licking it till it finishes. That's what you also do to a penis. So it has two different meanings. You can say, that's what she said. Okay. I hope you guys got that. All right. I hope you guys understand it. <laughs> that one's really hard to explain, but yes, that's what she said. Okay. Now, who is she? When we say that's what she said, the whole she thing is just an imaginary slut woman. It's just an imaginary woman, okay? So don't ask who she is. She's nobody, just an imaginary woman. And it's just a saying, okay? That's what she said. Next one. Next one we're going to get to is, um, hmm, let's see. We're going to, we all know anal. I don't have to teach anal. I shouldn't have to teach anal. Anal is when the penis is put inside of the, you know, the asshole. That's anal. I don't think I have to teach that, but I'll put it there just in case someone doesn't know it, okay? Uh, only she, yeah, we, we don't really say that's what he said. We usually only say she and anal isn't only she, but, uh, no, don't say that's what he said. Only that's what she said. Just she, it's, it's just how the joke goes. That's what she said. No, he, okay. So we all know anal. So I'm gonna skip that one. Okay. Now, what does it mean when, what is a way to describe when a woman has an orgasm? Does anyone know what else to call it? Orgasm. What else is called when a woman has an orgasm? Squirt. Squirting is different. Squirting is different. Squirting is different. To come, yes, one way is to come. But what's the other one for women? Kulo, no. The other one for women is very common. It's an orgasm from the penis being used inside, and it's called the big O. The big O is an orgasm a woman got from intercourse. Because apparently women get more than one type of orgasm. They can get orgasm from touching outside, like on the surface of the vagina. But it's really hard for a lot of women to get an orgasm from a penis being inside the vagina or maybe fingers inside the vagina. And if you get an orgasm from that, that is called the big O for a woman. It's the biggest orgasm like they're known to get, the climax. It's not just squirting. Not, not many women squirt anyway. Not many women squirt, but some women squirt when they get orgasms. But it's still not a big O because the big O has to be from intercourse inside the vagina. A lot of women squirt from things not being inside their vagina. They can squirt from touching the outside of their vagina. So they are different, okay? Um, climax. Yeah. It's also known as the big O. Okay. The big O you have to know that. So if you're a man and you never gave your woman an orgasm while just having sex with her, not like licking her or something. I mean, sex with your penis in her vagina, you never gave her the big O and that's not good. But some women apparently can't have that orgasm. Some women can't have it. They say they can't have it. And there's also been a study that the more intelligent a woman is, the more she is likely to have the big O. Don't ask me why, but you can research it. The more smart a girl is, the more likely she is to have a big orgasm. Because a lot of women, um, sex with women apparently is more mentally involved than with men. You know, their imaginations play a little more than a man's imagination does, okay? So there you go. That's the big O. That's for girls only. Men, we don't get the big O. We just bust nuts and shit, okay? Let's try another. Oh, we got to learn this. Just in case you guys don't remember. What is jailbait, people? Be careful of this. 
What is this? What is jailbait? What is jailbait? Oh, no one knows jailbait? Well, jailbait is a girl who's too young for sex, but she looks like a grown woman. So let me give you an example. I remember one time I went to a club out here in Russia. And in Russia, I, I don't know if any of you have ever been to Russia. Some of you have never been here. Some of you live here. But in Russia, they don't check your passport. They don't check your ID when you go inside a club. They rarely ever do that. So what happens is a lot of times really young girls get into the clubs. They really get there. So I met this one girl. I was like, damn, girl, you look good. She goes, oh, I love your videos. I know who you are. I'm like, yeah, you know, blah, blah, blah. We're talking. We're drinking. And I'm like, so what you want to do? You want to hang out sometime? She goes, yeah, we can do that after, after I finish school. And I'm like, holy shit, how old are you? She's like, 15, gel bait. And I got out of there. So gel bait is a girl who's too young, but she looks and acts like she's older. That's gel bait. And the reason why it's called gel bait is because if you have sex with her, you could go to jail. So I advise you, ask for IDs, ask for passports. I always ask. I need overwhelming evidence before I touch a girl to know. Yes, in Russia, jail bait is less than 16 because a lot of Russians don't know. The law in Russia is when you're 16, you're able to have sex with adults of any age with your own consent. You're able to have sex at 16 in Russia with anybody of any age. That's the law. A lot of Russians don't know that. It's not 18. It's 16 is the age of sexual consent in Russia. It used to be 14 in Russia. Like 15 years ago, it was 14, but they changed it back to 16, okay? So in Austria, it's like 14. Uh, you better ask Pierre Woodman. I love Pierre Woodman. He's one of my favorite. He's, oh, this dude's a, he's a legend. I mean, only thing I don't like is that Pierre Woodman's women have no ass. They have the skinniest starving chicks ever, but the way he does them is awesome. So it's a good porn series. But yeah, um, in America, it's different depending on the state. In New York, it's 17. In New Jersey, it's 16. In California, it's 18. So it changes in every state, okay? So there's not one age like there is in Russia. In America, it depends on the state, all right? So let's get one more thing out there. Let's get one more thing, and then I'll answer some questions, okay? One more thing. All right. <clears throat> talk about jail. We talk about all this stuff. Okay, let's learn one really nasty thing for the end, something really nasty. Okay, okay. How about how about a rim job? What is a rim job? A rim job. What is a rim job, people? Does anyone know what a rim job is? If 14 if 14 is too old for you, you must be 11 years old. A rim job is not anal. Licking someone's anus, yes. A rim job is licking someone's ass. Now, I'm not into rim jobs. I don't want anyone rim, job, rim jobbing me, and I don't want to rim job anyone else. But apparently, some people are really into that. But if you do want a rim job, you have to be very careful because you got to make sure the person's clean because you can get diseases from rim jobs. You know, it's not... Is not the same as a vagina or a penis. You know, it, it's it's much more dangerous. You know, so you got to make sure that person's very clean before you give them a a rim job. So um, yeah, I'm not really into the rim job stuff. But uh, hey, if that's if you're an adult and you're into rim jobbing, rim job whoever the fuck you want to rim job. If they want you to rim job rim job them, I can't say rim job. If they want you to rim job them, rim job them. Fuck what other people think. When you're with a person in privacy, you do what you want. That's your business, you and that other adult, two adults, you're both 18 and over. You, you could rim job, you could blow job, you could give him a pearl necklace. You do what you want in private, all right? That's your business. But I'm just not into rim jobbing, all right? So there we go, guys. That is our basic naughty lesson for today. I feel bad. If I were religious, I'd be praying right now for God to forgive me. But um, I, I'm pretty sure I'm fine, so I'm not going to bother praying. So, um, all right, I'm going to see who has their microphone on now. Uh, let's see. I now have my sound on. Does anyone have a microphone and or a camera on? No. 
All right, man. What's up? That was Edgar. How you doing, Phil? Hey, man. I'm good. Did you learn anything new today? No, I wouldn't say so, but you're really cool. Like you, as usual, you know. I mean, yeah. you're all, you're you're always with the incredible mood, you know. Yeah, when I'm talking about penises and pearl necklaces, that uh, yeah, are very <laughs> nasty. Yeah, this is nasty. But um, thank you for coming, man. Uh, I like That's seeing cool. you all here. All right, who's this? This is um, this is Neron. Neron. Yeah. yeah. Where are you from? You're from uh, Brazil, right? Yeah, I'm from Brazil, but I live in the U.S. Right. We, the we spoke before, didn't we? Yes. Ah, uh, you're the one we're going to trade passports. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I didn't forget. <laughs> you can so, change your passport. Yeah, to yeah. When yeah. I get back to America. Yeah, what's up? Carson. Yeah, of course. He's one of my closest friends. That's why I'm asking you. <laughs> oh shit! How is Arson? Is he staying out of trouble? I mean, right now, uh, I don't live in Russia anymore. So right now, I live in France. So I don't have a lot of news from him anyway. Oh, all right. Well, he was one of my closest homies, man. I love that dude. He's a tough guy. Yeah. All right. Someone's mic is like on. I think it's like their TV or something. So um, uh, any girls here? Any girls? Wow, no girls on a microphone? Hello, Phil. Okay, who's that? <laughs> Terminator. Oh, Terminator again. God damn it. Hey, Terminator, how's it going? Did you learn anything new today? Yeah, a lot of things. Okay, don't don't repeat them. I hear other people in your house. Don't repeat them. Just, um, I'm happy you learned new stuff. Be careful. <laughs> Have safe sex, wear condoms if you don't want to have a baby, and don't be racist. <laughs> <laughs> I have to throw that in there. Okay, well, um, if you have any questions now, you can throw it into the comment box. I'll read the comment questions before I get out of here and um, see if you guys have any questions I can answer. And yeah, you guys can insult each other in the comments. Have fun with that. That's okay. You know, freedom of expression. You can say whatever you want. Just don't be racist and this is all good. Ha -ha. Ha -ha. Anyone in here from Novosibirsk? Oh, next lesson will be Thursday. Next lesson will be Thursday. So, yeah, uh, you guys of uh, contacting, you can add me here. Uh, yeah, here. Especially girls. Uh, oh, anybody. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know you, man. I know you. <laughs> Arson, you know what? Arson knows me. Arson was such a good manager. He did something one day for me that I will never forget, and it was so intelligent and brave. Yeah, and he told me about me. that. I don't know. Was it about the girl in in uh? Yeah, the he, yeah, he set something up for you. Yo, that was unbelievable. I could not believe he did that shit. Yeah. I mean, it. I've never seen anything like that. I mean, I knew I could get the girl myself, but he sped it up like, like you that. Know? This yeah. dude is crazy. <laughs> I've yeah. never seen someone sit a girl down and just basically say, I know what you want. Mm -hmm. Don't waste time and money. It's dangerous around here. Just go to his house and have oh, sex with him. Yeah. I was like, holy yeah. shit. Yeah. And that's what she did. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, I really like that girl. I really, really liked her. I still talk to her to this day. She's one of the maybe five girls in all of Russia that I actually really liked. I liked her a lot. So it was awesome that he did that. Um, yeah, I mean, I yeah, I'm crazy about Russian mm -hmm. girls. I know, I know. White girls in general, but Russian girls are some of the best. But my favorite are actually Ukrainian girls. There's only a little difference. Yeah. 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 I lived in Ukraine for some time. But all right, man, that is the end of our lesson. If you if you are sending me a friend request on VK, just make sure you write a message. I was in your class. I'm a student from the sex course or something. So I know to add you. So I know that I told you to add me. All right. So that's basically it, guys. Hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you learned new stuff. Have safe sex. Don't be racist. Don't rape people. Um, yeah. And uh, that's basically it, guys. Say goodbye to, to, to each other. See you all later. Say bye in your own language. Paka, dos uh, Peace out. Later. Um, one. Uh, all those languages, all right? See you guys next time. And don't be racist. And do, do not be racist. Not today, all right? <laughs> all right, thank you guys for coming.